Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical compound used for a variety of purposes, and plants happen to fall into one of those varieties in the application of hydrogen peroxide. If you are previously unaware of this, and you intend to dispose of the hydrogen peroxide you have after exhausting all its chemical uses, you might want to put that action on hold after watching this. Hydrogen peroxide comes with some garden benefits which you are about to learn of. However, you are aware that when it comes to chemicals, the dosage is paramount. If you apply too much, it could be dangerous, and if you apply less of it, there will be little or no results, and so it all falls down to moderate application or required concentration. If you will be using hydrogen peroxide for all its benefits, then you need to know how much hydrogen peroxide for plants is needed. But before we delve into that, let's look at some of the benefits of hydrogen peroxide for plants. Hydrogen peroxide benefits for plants. Hydrogen peroxide can be used in the garden for the following purposes, which are beneficial to the plant. For watering plants, by its chemical formula H2O2, hydrogen peroxide is almost the same as water, the sole difference is the addition of an extra atom of oxygen, and so it can be used as water to mist plants, soak seeds, or used to wash sprouts. Fungus Killer Spray If your plant is sickened by a fungus, you can spray hydrogen peroxide on it to inhibit the growth of the fungus. Hydrogen peroxide can also be used to treat root rot. The extra atom of oxygen does most of the healing. Boost Plant Growth Although it won't pass for a fertilizer, the hydrogen peroxide compound can also stimulate plant growth due to the extra oxygen it gives to the plant. The extra oxygen atom is there to help the root of the plant absorb nutrients better from the soil. Other uses, hydrogen peroxide can also be used as a weed killer in higher concentrations, used for pest control, preventing infections on plants, and for pre-treating seeds. How much hydrogen peroxide is sufficient for plants? Now that the benefits have been brought to light, it all narrows down to the application, which if gotten wrong can be disastrous to the entire mission. So the concentration is of the essence as about 10% of hydrogen peroxide is already a weak killer so if that concentration is added to the plant, it will terminate its existence untimely. When using hydrogen peroxide for plants, the solution should be diluted to reduce the concentration and make it useful to the plants as opposed to threatening their existence. The solution that is most prominent is the 3% hydrogen peroxide solution and there is a variant of 35% in concentration. You can always find the 3% solution at the drugstore close to you. Both percentages still need to be diluted before using them on your plants. If you are trying to cover a large area of greenery, or your garden is huge, or maybe it's a large farm you are dealing with, then 35% is the ideal option to go for. Now let's look at two uses of hydrogen peroxide and the required concentration for application. For watering plants, if you are using the 3% solution to water or mist plants, one or half teaspoon of the hydrogen peroxide solution should be diluted with a cup of water. Two tablespoons should be diluted with a quarter of water, half cup of the solution should be diluted with a gallon of water. 2 cups with 5 gallons of water, 5 cups with 10 gallons of water, and 10 cups with 20 gallons of water. To prepare a 35% solution, 7 to 10 drops should be diluted with 1 cup of water, half teaspoon with 1 quarter of water, 2 teaspoons with 1 gallon of water, 3 tablespoons and 1 teaspoon with 5 gallons of water, 6 tablespoons and 2 teaspoons with 10 gallons of water, 3 quarters cup, 1 tablespoon, and 1 teaspoon with 20 gallons of water. To spray on plants plagued by fungus. For the 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, 1 tablespoon should be diluted with 1 cup of water, 2 tablespoons with 1 pint of water, 1 quarter cup with 1 quarter of water, 1 cup with 1 gallon of water, 5 cups with 5 gallons of water, and 10 cups with 10 gallons of water. For the 35% solution of hydrogen peroxide, 1 quarter teaspoon should be diluted with 1 cup of water, half teaspoon with 1 pint of water, 1 teaspoon with 1 quart of water, 1 tablespoon, and 1 teaspoon with 1 gallon of water, 6 tablespoons with and 2 teaspoons with 5 gallons of water, and 3 quarters cup, 1 tablespoon, and 1 teaspoon with 10 gallons of water. Precautions, when diluting, never add the water to the solution, 
Hydrogen peroxide is a higher oxide, and the presence of hydrogen ions makes it a little acidic. It could splatter and spill on your skin if you add water to it causing your skin to burn. Always add the solution to the recommended amounts of water. This rule is to be followed too when applying it to the plants. Be careful not to let it get to your skin. Use hand gloves for protection. You should also note the difference in the amount of water used in diluting the 3% and 35% solutions, don't interchange them. It's always better to have more water than more of the solution. Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical compound, and you should have that in mind whenever you intend to use it. The consciousness of its chemical properties, which can be dangerous will help you in applying the precautions and using the right concentrations. The right amount is and will always remain beneficial to your plants when you use the solution. Too much of it can afford you the direct opposite of whatever you are trying to achieve. So it's necessary that you stay guided. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.